Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am happy to announce my next big project, which will be coming down the pike, and that is going to be a, like, time travel fantasy football using Stratomatic, uh, the Stratomatic football game. And what I mean by time travel fantasy football is that I'm going to take some teams from 2018, some teams from 1995 NFL, both of those NFL, and some teams from the 1984 um, USFL. And I will be running one of those teams and I will let you know which team that's going to be um, as we go through them. But I uh, want to get into the league, the breakdown of the league. Well, actually, the breakdown of the league is going to be there's going to be the American Conference, just like in real football. And then there's going to be the National Football Conference, just like in real football. And each conference will just have eight teams. It's just going to have eight teams in each and um, the top four teams from each each of those uh, divisions it's kind of going to be like hockey almost um, the top four teams in each division will make the playoffs uh, the number one seeded team the best team with the best record will play the team with the fourth best record and then the two middle teams will play each other so that's how the playoffs are going to run but i'm sure you want to know what teams are actually going to be in this league and another thing I want to mention about it is a lot of the teams, um, the franchises that I picked, are based on um, uh, viewers that I have that, you know, their viewers' favorite teams. Now, that doesn't mean that if you're out there and you're a viewer or subscriber that your team definitely made it. I don't know. But I've got, um, I only had room for or at least the way I wanted to do it. I only had room for 16 teams. So that's all we have. I did my best to try to get subscriber um, favorite teams in. Um, and so we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to let you know what their uh, actual records were and what their, um, what their defense ratings in the game are. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start with the AFC and go through all of the AFC teams first. The first team is going to be the 1995 Buffalo Bills. So there you go. Buffalo Bills are the first team. And uh, the Buffalo Bills in 1995, their record was 10-6. and six, And their defense was average against the run and and good against the pass. So that's how that is. And of course, that was the team with um, their quarterback is going to be Jim Kelly. So that's going to be a team that's going to be passing a lot. So there you go. That's the first team, Buffalo Bills. Okay, so the second team in the AFC that we're going to put in is the 1995 Cleveland Browns. And the Cleveland Browns in 1995 were 5-11. and 11. And they, had, they were average to poor against the run, and they were poor against the pass. So we'll see how that works out for the Cleveland Browns. You know, when you mix and match all these teams, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But anyway, Cleveland Browns are the second team. The next team for the AFC is going to be the Miami Dolphins of 1995 Dan Marino another great passing team they were 9 and 7 in 1995 and they were average to poor against the run defensively and they were poor against the pass so and I mean if you remember those dolphin teams that's that's you know pretty much what they were terrible defensive teams but Dan Marino scored a ton of points for them so the Dolphins are the third team in the AFC. The next team in the AFC 
the New England Patriots. And no, it's not the 2018 New England Patriots. No, it is not the Patriots that have any kind of Tom Brady on them. This is the 1995 New England Patriots, and I believe Drew Bledsoe was their quarterback. Um, and uh, their backup, I think, was... I don't remember. Maybe Bernie... Co I want to say it was Bernie Kosar. Um, yeah. But I don't know. Not sure. So anyway, that's, that's going to be the... Uh, oh, and the Patriots that year were 6-10. and 10. So, you know, that's why I picked this Patriots. They were 6-10, and 10 and they were average against the run, and they were poor against the pass. So we'll see how that happens. And again, you're, uh, something you're going to note as I go through here is there weren't a, any real powerhouses. Maybe one team that was really, really good. Um, and that was a USFL team. Um, but we will, and we'll get to them next, as a matter of fact. The next team is a USFL team, and that is the New Jersey Generals. And this team actually had Brian Sipe as the quarterback. And um, I'm trying to think who the running back was. Famous guy. Don't, it wasn't, I don't think it was. Well, anyway, definitely Brian Sipe was their quarterback. And uh, they and I told you that they were the only juggernaut in the entire league, and they were. They were 14 and four. The USFL played 18 games. Great league. I wish it had never died. But um, they they were 14 and four. And um, they well, Maurice Carthon was one of their running backs. Yeah. So Maurice Carthon and uh, Brian Sipe. I mean, need you say any more? But they were uh, 14 and four, and they were good against the run, and they were good to excellent against the pass. So we'll see if they can win against some of these other teams, some of these other NFL type teams. But um, they are definitely by far the best team record-wise in the entire league. Okay, the next team was a team that's going to be right across the river from them, but not nearly quite as good. And that is going to be the New York Jets. Yes, the New York Jets are the uh, are one of the other teams in the league from the New York area, in, a, in addition to the Generals. And uh, the Jets, are. this is going to be the 1995 Jets, although really, if you're a Jets fan out there and you're saying, why didn't you pick the 18 Jets? Well, I mean, really, are, were they much better? So anyway, the Jets in 1995 were 3-13. and 13. And they were average to poor against the run defensively. And they were good against the pass, actually. So, I mean, maybe that's the team you want. You just want to figure out how to get their offense going, maybe. So, um, anyway, yeah, the uh, Jets are the sixth um, AFC team. The seventh AFC team is going to be the Philadelphia Eagles of 2018. And the Eagles were 9-7. and seven. Now, if you're an Eagles fan out, you're out there, you're probably saying the Eagles are not in the AFC. And there's a reason why I put these teams together the way I did. The AFC is basically the East Coast. Uh, the East Coast and almost to the Midwest. And then... Um, the uh, NFC is the Midwest out to the West. So that's why I did it this way. So you got the Eagles are the seventh AFC team of the Eagles of 2018. They were nine and seven and they were um, excellent, good to excellent against the run. Good to excellent against the run. And they were poor against the pass. So We'll see how that uh, manifests itself in this particular league for them. And finally, we have the eighth team, the eighth and final team for the AFC, and that is going to be 
the Pittsburgh Steelers of 2018. And the 2018 Pittsburgh Steelers were 9, 6, and 1. And they were uh, good to excellent against the run, and they were poor against the pass. So, so there you go. That's the AFC. And as you can see, um, you know, there was only one team that was really, really good. That was the Generals at 14 and 4. Every other team is kind of just like they're either pretty good to bad. So, um, I, I don't want to say that the AFC will be competitive. Maybe it won't be. Maybe the Generals will just run away with it. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to see. But now we're going to get on to the NFC. And that brings us to the last team in the AFC, the Eagles cross-state rivals, the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers of 2018 because I believe the 1995 Steelers were really, really good. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, we're anyway, we're going with the 2018 Steelers. The Big Ben Steelers that were, uh, they had a record of 9-6-1. Um, and one Is what they were. And I believe the tie was to the Browns, which was pretty embarrassing. And they were good to excellent against the run, and they were poor against the pass. And so that, my friends, will round out our AFC teams. How'd you like that field? Something completely different. All right, so now we're moving on to the uh, NFC. And in the, the first team we're going to go over in the NFC is the Chicago Blitz, the 1984 Chicago Blitz of the USFL. They were uh, five and thirteen, not very good, and they were poor against the run and very poor against the pass. And no, the Chicago Blitz are not the team that I will be taking. They are a Chicago team, but I'm not taking. So there you go. That's the Chicago Blitz first team from the NFC. All right. So the next NFC team, number two. On the list is going to be the Dallas Cowboys. And this will be the Dallas Cowboys of 2018 because the 95 Dallas Cowboys were a juggernaut. So the 18, 2018 Dallas Cowboys will be the next NFC team and they were 10 and six. They were excellent against the run, but they were average against the pass. So we will see how the Dallas Cowboys of 2018 will fare in this new league that I'm doing. Team number three in the NFC is going to be the 1995 Detroit Lions. And the Detroit Lions of 1995, much like the 2018 Dallas Cowboys, were 10 and 6. And they were average to poor against the run defensively and they were um, average against the pass. So there you go. You've got the Detroit Lions as team number three for the NFC. All right, so rounding out the first half of the teams from the NFC is what NFC uh, league would, would be complete without the Green Bay Packers. And this will be the, the uh, 2018 Green Bay Packers because I'm a Chicago Bears fan. I am, of course, going to take a bad Packers team, so it's going to be the 2018 version. The 2018 Packers were 5, 9, and 1, and they were average to poor against the run, and they were very poor against the pass. But hey, they got Aaron Rodgers, right? Oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> All right, so the fifth team in the NFC, and I don't have a helmet for this one, is going to be the Houston Oilers of 1995. Um, and the Houston Oilers, I think Chris Miller was their starting quarterback. Um, and they were 7-9, uh, and nine, 
they were good against the run defensively, but they were, and they were average to good against the pass. But still, seven and nine. A defense like that, and they were seven and nine. I don't know. They must have been really bad offensively. But anyway, that's the number five team for the NFC that we're going to be having in this league. All right, the next team that we're going to have for the NFC is the 2018 Minnesota Vikings. And they were 8-7-1. and one, And they just barely, did they just barely miss out on winning the... Uh, NFC North, I think they did because the Bears won the NFC North. So they were 8-7-1, um, and, and they were average against the run and good against the pass. And uh, you know their quarterback is uh, your cousin, Kirk Cousins. But anyway, that's um, that's the uh, number, I believe it's six team, number six team there. Uh, yeah, in the NFC. Okay, so my team is going to be another USFL team from 1984, and that's going to be the Arizona Wranglers. Say what? Love those guys. No, actually, I never really did, but that's going to be my team. The Arizona Wranglers quarterback is going to be um, Landry. I think he was on the... Uh, I think he was on the Tigers in the or the Lions in the NFL. Um, I forget his first name, um, but anyway, he's going to be their quarterback, and they're um, they were ten and eight. Now here's the crazy thing about it: the team was ten and eight, but they had scored five hundred and two points, and they only allowed two hundred and eighty-four points. And so, as you can guess, their defense is very good. They are good to excellent against both the run and the pass. But still, again, 502 points scored, 284 against, and they were 10 and 8. So um, I'm going to think probably I can do a little better than that with a defense like that and um, Bill, Tom, Dick, Landry, whatever his name was, um, at quarterback. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, we'll see how I do with that. But uh, yeah, that's the that rounds out the NFC. All right. So how did you like that uh, field of teams? 16 teams. Like I said, if I missed your favorite team, you know, maybe the next time when I do another season like this, I will. Um, in fact, leave a comment. If I missed your team. Leave a comment, and then the next time when I do this, because I'll probably be doing this again, I'll probably do it with three different NFL seasons, combine them, you know, different teams from the different um, seasons, and then throw the teams together into one big pot and have a uh, have a, uh, a season. So let me know if I missed your team. Didn't really mean to, but, um, you know, that was that was a lot of the big ones, though. So, um, so what do you think? Think my Wranglers are going to win it all? I don't know. We'll see. Um, now, as for when I am going to do this, that I'm not sure. It's coming. Um, the league is already set up in my Stratomatic football um, thing, um, my, in my Stratomatic football game. That's not really the issue. The issue is that I have a lot going on right now. I'm still finishing up the Bears 2008 Stratomatic Card and Dice season. I'm still finishing up the Stratomatic um, Minnesota North Star season. And I have just started the uh, 2020 Chicago White Sox baseball season with Stratomatic on the computer. So that's three different seasons right there I've already got going. And I don't really, you know, it's kind of hard to... Um, to insert another one in there on a you know day by day schedule and not you know overload um, YouTube with my videos. So I'm gonna wait for one of the seasons and maybe both. Uh, I'm gonna wait for one of either the 2008 Bears season or the Minnesota North Star season to to finish or possibly both of them, and then we will get into this football season. Um, and 
Um, notably, also, the Minnesota North Star season um, is going to definitely come with some playoffs. So we're going to have to get um, the playoffs out of the way for that. Um, and we will see about the... Uh, the uh, bear, well, the Bears, actually, the Bears are also going to uh, be going to the playoffs. So I got playoffs for those two seasons that I have to get out of the way, finish the season, and then get the playoffs out of the way. So we will see how that works out. But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.